<laughs> Hi guys, so it has been eight weeks since I have updated anybody and um, I can't believe I've let it go this long. It's It's been nuts. I'm probably really going to regret missing those eight weeks when I do have the baby and I want to look back. So, um, But I do have good excuses. I've been really busy. It's been Christmas and I've been busy getting the nursery ready. We've had lots of people visit. Um, so we had a lot of fun. But anyways, um, I'm in my bathroom right now. I'm sitting on a stool, not the toilet. Um, my son is in the bathtub and I thought, there he is. I thought this would probably be the only good time that I can get a video in um, since he's already had a, bat, um, a nap today. So, Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Uh. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you taking the bath? What? Uh oh. <laughs> he likes to stand up. Um, he just realized he can reach the knob, so. He's quite obsessed with that now. Uh oh. Anyway, so today is. Oh my gosh, what even is today? I don't even know. Monday, January 21st. Uh, Martin Luther King Day. Um, anyways, I am 31 weeks and four days pregnant, so I'm just about 32 weeks, but I wanted to update because I had a doctor's appointment today. Um, everything went really well. Um, I did have the gestational diabetes with my first child, Mason. Um, for the second pregnancy, they're not testing because I guess they're just assuming that because you had it the first time, you'll have it again. So um, I didn't have to have the... Um, the test done with the sugar drink so I've just been watching my numbers um, um, so I did have a like a little log that I keep my numbers in and um, everything's been going really well so anyways I had a good appointment today um, I have gained 14 total pounds since the beginning of the pregnancy so not too bad considering I'm almost 32 weeks um, I have my C-section scheduled. It's been scheduled since I think it was um, my last appointment. So my due date is uh, March 21st, but my C-section will be on March 14th um, at 1 p.m. So I have to be there at 11 a.m. Um, my doctors, or excuse me, the hospital, um, they only schedule three C-sections a day, <clears throat> and so. If the first two, I happen to be the last, I'm at 1 o'clock, so if the first two go um, off without a hitch, if there's no problem or any complications and they're smooth and they're quick, then I will get called earlier to come in then. Um, so I was told to pretty much be ready all day um, and expect a call. Um, so you have to be there two hours in advance, so if my surgery is scheduled at 1, I have to be there at 11. Um... So yeah, I got all my official paperwork today stating what I can and cannot do versus eating um, and drinking, which I think I can do up until 7 a.m. the day of. So, um, really that's about it. My doctor's appointment went really well. His heartbeat was 146 and he was um, very active every time she would try to move the little device around in my stomach to hear the heartbeat he would kick it so we thought that was funny um let's see here so yeah that was a good doctor's appointment although today I was something was really crazy like I was put into perspective today I mean I knew I only had a few weeks left um until this baby's born excuse me but when I got the actual like official printout of how many appointments are left. I started to freak out a little bit. I have three appointments left until this baby's born and I I can't believe it. I was like freaking out to my husband telling him we're in so much trouble. This kid's going to be here before we know it. So, um, I mean, I'm really excited, but <laughs> he takes all his toys and he throws them out. I don't know why. I'm sure every child does, but... any toys to play with um so that was it it was like a 20 minute appointment it was really quick um so 
So my levels were good. My blood pressure was really high though for some reason. Today, I don't know why. It was, I can't remember. It was something, something over 85. So the lower number was fine, which is what they're mostly concerned about. Um, but it was like in the 140s and I thought, oh my God, that can't be right. But I was running a little late and I was freaking out and running around and rushing. So I'm thinking that probably had something to do with it. Um, but pretty much this whole pregnancy, everything's been really well. So, uh, 14 pounds, blood pressure was fine, my sugars were fine, um, that's about it. I think, uh, we, t oh, we talked about a few things. Um, I had a few questions, because I don't know if anybody's can, um, not concerned, uh, familiar with something called a, a natural C-section, and when I say that, I don't mean, um, natural as in no medication, because. That would be something I would look away from very quickly. Um, I don't know. It's really cool. I think you should look it up if anybody's having a C-section and you feel like maybe you've missed out on like the vaginal birth and the experience of having the baby on your stomach. Um, this procedure, I mean, there's really nothing different about it, honestly, from a regular C-section. It's, it's just supposed to mimic the... Um, like the play out of what a vaginal birth would be. So for instance, um, when the baby's born, or being born, uh, the sheets, if you want to look, the sheets um, that are covering you are lowered, and you can see the baby being pulled out of you as if you were giving birth naturally. Um, that would be something I probably wouldn't be interested in, but um, this is just sort of like the technique. Um, and they're supposed to pull the baby out really slowly because it mimics having a vaginal birth and, and the fluids being pushed out of the baby's um, lungs and whatnot. And then immediately the baby's put right on your chest, which you know does not happen when you have a C-section. Um, and that's kind of where they like, you know, kind of clean them off a little bit and you're holding the baby the whole time. Um, dad cuts the cord, which also generally doesn't happen because it's a sterile situation they don't want. Um, anybody to be in their little sterile feel. Oh my god, he's hilarious. <laughs> he just talks to himself. <laughs> what a weird child. Um, and basically anything that needs to be done to the baby um, is pretty much done on you. They, uh, give him a bath in the room with you later. Some mothers even breastfeed um, as quickly as being on the OR table while you're being sewn up. Um, I don't know, it's just something that is supposed to make mothers feel more like they're in the experience rather than just having a baby pulled out of them and then given to them later, like as if they're the last one to hold them. Which was in my situation when I had Mason. What are you doing? Oh, you're bored because all your toys got thrown out, huh? Um, so anyways, so she said she had never heard of it. Um, I know it's sort of like a new movement. I'm sorry, it's really loud in here. Um, and she was just the nurse practitioner, so she said she would pass it on to the doctor that's actually doing my surgery. And that we would go through and look at what could be possible. Because, um, yes, it is a doctor who's doing my surgery, but it's not her hospital, so it's sort of like she has to follow protocol. So, um, I don't know, it's, it's really interesting. I'll link it below if you want to watch it. It's like a 12 minute video, and it is so cool because, um, there's absolutely nothing different than having a natural C section versus a regular C section. Um, you still get all your medication and you won't feel anything. It's just the way that they do things. It's a little bit more family centered um, and you can have the baby right away instead of it just being taken away cleaned and weighed and testing and footprints and the eye junk being put on um, and then you getting the baby 20 minutes later. So um, I don't know, I feel like I always, was always left out because I was the last person to hold Mason and I had him for like 20 minutes and then I didn't see him until the following day. So um, I feel like sometimes I'm trying to overcompensate also for for him as well as this baby um, in the respect of being close to this birth, so to speak. 
Oh my god, you have to see what he's doing. Oh, there he is! <laughs> what a weird child. I'm telling you. So anyways, that was my doctor's appointment. It went really well. Um, I'm sorry I'm talking fast. I'm trying to get this everything covered. Um, I don't know if I meant... I don't know if I mentioned in my last vlog or not, but um, we have come up with a name. We've came up with Ryan. Um, we still don't know a middle name. My husband likes Owen. I don't mind it, but I'm kind of on the lookout for something better that comes along. So. <laughs> Weird. Um, as far as cravings, I'm telling you, I haven't had a single craving this whole pregnancy. Um, except for maybe a week, a week or two ago, and it's been oranges. I don't eat oranges, mainly because it takes forever to peel, and it's just so much work. Um, but there's, literally I'm eating like two... For breakfast, two for lunch, two for dinner, and it's it's ridiculous the amount of oranges. I had my husband go out to the store and buy me two bags just yesterday, and I think one bag's almost gone. So um, I can't seem to get enough oranges. Maybe the baby needs vitamin C. I don't know, but um, in love. So that's been my craving. I went over doctor's appointment. Um, we've come with a name. Oh, nursery. So. I wanted to wait until all of our family was gone um, for the holidays so that we could clear out that second guest bedroom um, and start using them as the nursery. So now that everyone's pretty much all gone, <laughs> I gotta take care of him one second. <laughs> 